Hey everybody, this is Stephanie. This is Project Life for 2020. This is week 18. I'm giving you a brief viewing of it really quick and then I'm going to jump right in. Yes, you saw that bit of a cringe worthy hand expression there. I kind of totally fudged up my title card, but I really like this card, so I'm just going to go with it. I do not like using a roller stamp when it comes to the dates. I love the way that it looks, but the imperfection uh, kind of drives me crazy. And I cannot stamp a straight line to save my life, but again, I'm going to just go with this card. I love these little boxes because I can place a little uh, stamp sentiments in it, so that's exactly what I'm doing. I have pulled out Citrus Twist, that first stamp that I just did, what it says, Silver Lining is in Every Cloud. And then the next stamp that I'm going to be stamping out, I believe it says Chasing Rainbows, and I'm going to do it in a repetitive uh, manner. I do it, I think, like three times. All the product that I'm using for week 18, this spread is going to be with... Uh, Integrative bubble printables. And I uh, like some of them are the freebies from National Scrapbooking Day years ago, and other ones are just in general, like little uh, basic packs that I purchased along the way. I placed a little sticker in that circle, I mean, I'm sorry, in that square, and add a heart, and I call this done. Super simple. At the beginning of the video, I showed you really quick viewings of the spread all completed just because I had started recording after I got my first title card and I didn't give you uh, an idea I guess of the uh, spread so now here I'm just going to add two embellishments on that photo and I went too fast to even show you guys sorry about that <laughs> and I am moving on to a 3x4 I love, oh yeah, I did that crooked. I love matting my 3x4 photos with some white cardstock. It just gives them that pop in the center, the, you know, that center row of the entire spread, a pop, and it brings those uh, photos up or out. And um, I had did that one a bit crooked, and I was going to try and fix it, but yeah, as you saw, it started to tear. So I just, again... We're just going to go with it. I think that's going to be the phrase for this this spread. It's been a couple of weeks since I've done Project Life again, so I feel like i got to get my groove and i got to keep go with the mental momentum and just, yeah. We're going to just say we're just going to go with it. Now, I tried to add in this label, but I didn't want to put the star on the right side. I felt like you're going to bring your eye to the fact that it's crooked, but... I mean, you can tell, but I don't think it would have made that much of a difference. But uh, it did to me. <laughs> so I put the star, that little puffy star, on the left side of that label. And instead of just trying to use my handwriting to do some journaling, I'm just going to look for a stamp. It is a citrus twist stamp, and it says document it. So I'm going to use Versafine to stamp it out and adhere it and call it dead. I love using the little puffy stickers of stars and hearts. Those are from Owl Studio. They're so stinking cute. I love them. Nice little added uh, embellishment. That's all you really need. I had grabbed out a bunch of printables from Integrative Bubble, so I don't really have embellishments. So throughout this spread, you'll see me pull out all items that are from my stash, and I will definitely try my best to let you know what items that I'm using. That way, if you happen to like it, you have an opportunity to grab your own. But all the cards are printables from Integrative Bubble. I believe toward the end of the video, when I'm doing my flip up, I think that's what you would call it. It is um, like a blue 3 by 4 card. I think that was from uh, Coco Daisy. Moving on to the next 3 by 4 card. These are chocolate banana muffins. Oh my god, they're so good. And the best part is, is that everybody actually likes them in the family, so that's always a bonus. I feel like I kind of did that 3 by 4 card crooked too, but you know what? That's the style, apparently, <laughs> with this spread. 
I love doing this zoom in portion and making my little layout. It just makes it not as overwhelming. So this is awesome. And I keep it very simple. I do like the fact that if you have minimum supplies, you don't gonna, you know, I don't have to think too hard on it and spend too long. So some days I am okay with doing that because I, that's all the time I have. So here I kind of struggled a bit. I, I wanted to add something else, but I didn't want to take away from the photos. So even though I cut labels out, I end up trying, I don't put nothing else on this. Not even the little star sticker, uh, I, I do try. But I just felt like I didn't need anything. This spread is telling me just bring back in and let it be. And that die cut was from Super Cool Studi uh, Studio Fresh. I just thought it weird to me. <laughs> Pink Fresh Studio, that's why. <laughs> I didn't remember it. So, um, there you go. I just pulled out things that were on my desk and I just made them work. And that's okay too. But I think um, next week I'll be using a 12 by 12 paper pad. I believe it is Maggie Holmes. What is it called? I already forgot. Is it Sunny Days? I found that on Tuesday morning recently. And I found the glossy puffy stickers and the regular stickers that I'm going to be using as embellishment so that's exciting. I love being able to use a 12 by 12 paper pad in my project life as well and then after that the following week will be um, for week 20 I will get back and start using my um, Studio L monthly kits because I do miss them and I have it here so it's just waiting for me to be used. <laughs> I'm moving on to a the last 4x6 from this spread, and it is going to have two 3x4s. Every time I show you that I have two 3x4s within a 4x6, at the end of the video, I will um, put a paper in the back to adhere them together so they don't move in the pockets, but I don't, I, I don't do that on camera. So I'm just adding in a little label and a little sticker, and I just call this done. In the end, you'll see all my journaling. It is not perfect. There are words that I miss because I use a typewriter, so there's no backspace on that. So it's just, yeah, it's perfectly imperfect, and we're going to just go with it, right? <laughs> and this is a two coffee uh, containers, a coffee mug that I was looking for for the month of May. And, you know, kind of like to theme up for Mother's Day. And I found it at the dollar store. It says, love you to the moon and back. So this is the spread. The left side completed. We're going to move on to the next side. And right here, I forget to zoom in the same uh, way from the first section of the so I do zoom in once, but I forgot to, that I zoomed in twice. So I'm going to have to remember that, but I can only get better from here. <laughs> now the photo is of my husband. He was working in the backyard, and he comes back with a scorpion. Uh, wow. Unfortunately, that is a new normal, living out in the country, and... um. I guess I just, you have to document the crazy ones too, so um, that's not cool, but that's our normal here, so um, yeah. <laughs> what do I say to that? And I remember like uh, the other day, I think I have photos coming up in the next two weeks for Project Life. I don't know if I'm going to put it, but I went to go check the mail and I see something really dark on the street and it was a big tarantula. Like when I show you the photos, you're going to see it and you're going to freak out. Like that thing was huge. You can, you notice it on the street. Ugh. So it just, just gave me the chills. <laughs> so I'm showing you really quick here that this is my flip up. This is because it's there. It's one occasion or one event and two different pictures. This is how I was currently feeling. It was a, a rough night. My son did not want to go to sleep. It was really past both our bedtimes. And I was just spread thin. And I put a little sentiment. And it says, we have good days and bad days. And that's definitely how it felt. But I wanted to show the next photo, which I have underneath that 3x4 card. It says, realize that the present moment is all you have or something. 
And even though it felt like a hard time, if you just look at the bad, you know, that's all you're going to see. So that's why I also included him smiling because my sweet son, (laughs) he didn't know we're having a hard time. It was really only me and he was just fighting to go to sleep. So now I'm moving on to the next photo. This is of my boys. I am taking this photo from a window in my, in my craft room and it's next to the water hose and the shed. So that's my view. Awesome. But it was an awesome view to see them playing together outside. And so I had to take a picture. These ephemera pieces, that one and that yellow one is from Favorite Story from Peak Fresh Studio. And the one on the lower left, that one is from Super Cool. And I believe that one says, this makes me happy, this yellow one. And then I, the other one says, so much fun, fun, fun. Now we're moving on to the last 4x6 card in this spread. I thought about using this. That says love you more. I wanted just to put love you because it was so cute that he... Oh, I added two more little stickers on there and I just wanted to show you that that's... I had stickers put aside and forgot to put them on. Both of these little embellishments say... Let's see, the one on the left says, take a picture, it'll last longer. And the one on the right well, says, oh my god, this was crazy. My youngest was roaming around. It was another night where he did not want to go to bed. And he's dragging his little blanket around. And then suddenly he just gets into the hamper. And we ask him, are you going to go in a night? And he's like, yeah. And not even five minutes later, we look at him and he's knocked out in the hamper. He passed out there, so we just thought that was the funniest thing that he did that. And I'm so glad we were able to document it and have it to make fun of him later on. (laughs) So he's going to love me for it. (laughs) So now I think before I end the video, I'm going to show you how I do this little flip up. It is not my original idea. I got this idea, uh, idea from... A YouTuber that does Project Life, I believe her. I'm so sorry, I know I'm going to totally screw up her last name, but I'm sure you've heard of her. If not, you definitely should go check her out. Her name is Crystal Eladante. <laughs> I hope I said her last name wrong. <clears throat> but she does Project Life, and her spreads are amazing. And she also does Traveler's Notebook. So, yeah, like I said, definitely check her out. What you do is you do a... 3 inch by 1 inch and you kind of sandwich them in within each other so you do the back of the 3 by 4 card that's going to go at the bottom and then the cover 3 by 4 card goes on the top and then you put adhesive on both sides of that little um, scrap I guess you call it and then you put the other 3 by 4 card now I think what I forgot to do though is to leave a itty bitty little space between so that way it does a cleaner fold and it won't be like um like an alligator fold because then it stays kind of open but other than that I love that it came out because I wanted to include you know both these photos to share the story so and my sense of humor I would like stay caffeinated that is definitely an integrative bubble three by four card that I loved uh, it, yeah most days with a toddler you need to stay caffeinated <laughs> now I'm going to give you my full viewing of the entire spread completed i hope you got inspired and i hope um you like the way it came out i am happy that it's done and it was simple and i can't wait for the next one to show you the next one (laughs) and yeah so like i said hope you got inspired in some way and definitely check out crystal of el dante (laughs) Uh, channel and uh yeah until next time thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and like this for more videos to come bye